I'm Carrie Melke, the Chief of Staff at Shriners Hospital for Children, Twin Cities. Uh, leg calve Perthes disease, or Perthes disease as it's known in the States, is a condition that affects young children, typically, anywhere from age 2 to 10, uh, where for some reason they lose the blood supply to their hip or the ball of the hip. And this leads to uh, uh, certain x-ray and clinical changes. So these uh, patients present with pain and limp. The initial x-ray looks normal oftentimes. And sometimes we have to do special imaging like MRI scans or arthrograms to help us in diagnosing and managing Perthes disease. Essentially, it's like a heart attack of the hip. You've lost the blood supply to the ball. And if you're an adult, that's a big problem and you end up getting a hip replacement. In a child, it's a different thing. A child has more robust, robust blood supply they're able to actually remove the dead bone and cartilage that occurred due to the injury, and they can reestablish a blood supply and reestablish a ball, if you will, or a femoral head. And the treatment varies depending on your age, how much of the ball's involved. Uh, uh, so there's a fair amount of decision making that has to occur with the doctor and the patient to come up with the best treatment plan. We don't know what causes it. It's more boys than girls, and it's more left hip than right hip, and we really don't know why. Uh, and there's, it's still an active area of research. Uh, but uh, a lot, and for some reason, uh, 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 ADHD children are at increased risk for Perthes as well. Again, we don't know why. The peak age is age five, uh, but it can occur anywhere from age two to even teenage years. The older you are, the less well you do. Uh, the more amount of the femoral head or the ball is involved, the less well you do. In general, if you're less than six, you do pretty well. I mean, the, the usual treatment less than age six typically is periods of therapy, protected weight bearing, sometimes anti-inflammatories. Every once in a while, there'll be a minor operation where we lengthen a muscle in the groin and put you in casts to try and improve range of motion. So the treatment in younger children is pretty much non-operative, but you need to be followed every four to six months with x-rays for a prolonged period of time. There's uh, an age group, probably in the six to 10 year old age group, where if you don't have whole head involvement, or you don't have profound collapse, you could be a, a uh, candidate for what's called containment procedure. That can be done either on the ball side or on the socket side to deeply contain the ball within the hip socket to allow the hip to develop as round as possible. Part of the problem is when the body is reinserting the blood supply and we're trying to reform the ball as a child, it's cartilaginous and it's very soft. So if the ball is not deeply contained within the socket, you can get significant head deformities. Uh, and the th principle is containing the ball in the socket while it's reforming to get as round a ball as possible. It's still unlikely you're going to have a perfect hip you will always know which hip had Perthes disease. And, uh, you know, uh, containment is pretty established treatment in a certain age range with a certain amount of femoral head involvement. There's an older age group and those with whole head involvement where you can't contain the hip in the socket. And sometimes those patients can benefit from a salvage procedure, either on the ball side or the socket side to improve their pain and range of motion. Uh, usually the patients first notice and family notice pain or in really young children, they just refuse to walk and can't tell you what's going on. A lot of time it presents with knee pain because hip, hip problems can refer to the knee. So you have to make sure that you recognize it's a hip problem, not a knee problem. And, uh, but typically the family will see pain, limp, and apparent shortening of the leg or leg length difference. I think you need to be diagnosed and treated early uh, 
Uh, and it's a controversial area in pediatric orthopedics, but and there's a lot of collaborating we do with our patients to come up with the best treatment plan. Certainly therapy is gonna be a big part of treatment. Occasionally casting can be part of treatment and surgery can be part of treatment. Uh, but it's a disease process that takes three years or longer to completely go through its cycle. And we tend to follow these children probably every six months until they're adults, just because even if they're doing well as children, sometimes as preteens or teens, they can develop problems.